straight line, which is pretty good right there. So that's where you want your body to be, okay? And then when we go to turn, it's just this way. Left and right, right. no lean. Through like this. Yep, your thumb right there. Now you've got the slack out and they're even, so that's perfect. So all you're gonna do is put your hands forward a little bit, tell him to walk. And I'm just gonna walk beside you here. And now take your right rein and just pull so he goes to the outside. And we call this the rail. So when you hear me say, take him to the rail, I just want you to take him out to the end of the fence. And what I'm gonna do is, Copper likes to just follow me. So what I'm gonna do is just keep sneaking into the middle. And I want you to just keep pulling him out to the outside. <laughs> And I'm not bitching, I'm just telling you to crack away. So your hands are leaning on that side. Yeah, get them up off of that saddle. Turn, yeah, right there is where you want your hands. I knew where we were headed. <laughs> yeah, perfect. You see he was just going a little fast there? Yeah. And you just pull back on him a little bit. That up. If, you, if you let that up, he's going to go. And like I said, even though he's 28, 29 years old, he, he's got to go. He, he's not a deadhead by any means, but that's what makes him a good lesson horse, too. So you don't have to kick and kick to get him to go. <coughs> and Copper's always gas powered. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes him. Okay, Matt, so you're looking good there, okay? We're just walking. So the first thing we're going to do this stop. All right? Seat, feet, hands. Okay, so you didn't, we just want to oh. arch our, just sit our butt down that saddle. So you're walking again, out to the rail, pulling to the right. Okay, and we're stopping. Seat, feet, hands. That's better. That's what I wanted you to see. Perfect. And walk. Hands forward just an inch or so. Good. Yeah, he was going to go into his gate there, and you pulled back. That's good. We just want him to walk. And we're stopping again. Seat, feet, hands. That's better. Walk. I, I'm telling you, most people never heard of that seat, feet, hands. Just a couple horse. And uh, if you get in the habit of doing that, it'll be a lot easier to stop your horse. Perfect. Walk. Okay, so when the next thing we're going to go ahead and walk. Just listen as we're walking. So when he does that, take your left rein and just pull his, yeah, sit and tell him to walk. So we're going to reverse and go the other direction. So you always come towards the inside. So you're just going to pull him to the inside and go that way. Go ahead. And this is where you just turn your upper body. Don't lean. So we're going to do those a couple times just so you get the turning part. Okay, pull back on him a little bit and tell him to walk. That's it. Okay, and now reverse, turn to the right. Not too bad, a little bit of lean there, yeah. not bad. I out. felt myself. And then pull him out to the rail, to the right. Pull him out there to the right a little bit. He gets out towards the fence. And we're going to stop. Well, go ahead, turn him. Go ahead, turn him, reverse him. So we're just going to practice these two things, stop and reverse, stop and reverse. So walk. I'll tell you when to do it. And stop, seat, feet, hands. Much better. Walk. So when I do the seat, feet, hands, I want to relax. Yes. But your ass got to sit down on that yeah, saddle. And that's, that's the main thing. That's the first thing, but that's the main thing. <clears throat> and pull back. And when you pull back, oh, you hold till he stops. Okay. Okay. And walk. And now reverse and go the other way. Just pull that right rein out a little bit. There you go. Much better. We're, shit, we forgot to flex, but... When, when we flex is when our hand comes to our belly button. Not when we're turning. When we're turning, our hand just goes out. Like now, it just go out to the left. So go ahead and reverse. So your hand just comes out to the left. There you go. Yeah, that's it. 
Yeah, that's better. I was better. I seen your back and yeah, go. I was, I, I was thinking about it. Yeah. And you got to tell yourself every time, seat, feet, hands. If you do that, you'll start to stop these horses correctly. Just hold them. You're doing real good. You just got to hold that rein until he comes to a complete stop. Turn. You're leaning. <laughs> he said, whoop, you knew right away. You did it. It's just natural. You, this, you really got to watch. <laughs> yeah. It's just natural for your body to do that. <coughs> uh, you keep wanting to turn. Oh, I know why. I'll put pressure on the cat. Yeah, don't. When you're walking like that, no pressure at all with your leg. Yeah, I was. As soon as you put pressure, he'll he'll. I was wondering why he was wanting to keep turning. Yeah. Stopping. And walking. Yeah, pull that. That's it. Okay, now reverse him. Go the other way. Okay, and I tell you what, we're. Tabitha and I are going to back up here a little bit. See that mounting block? Yep. I want you to go in and circle it. Don't have to be real tight, but just circle it. I'll tell you when to stop. Don't lean. There you go. Mm -hmm. Just turn your upper body. That's better. That's better. Don't lean. That's it. Just keep going around that box like that. And you got to give and take with your rein. If he goes too sh sharp, you got to give the rein. If he's not going tight enough, you got to pull the rein more. That's it. So this is a little bit harder than just doing a yeah. reverse. Yeah, and I yeah. keep wanting to lean towards the block. Yeah. So we're gonna practice it. Keep going. Would be good at barrels. What's that? Would be good at barrels. Yeah, barrel <laughs> cone, something. <laughs> I, I'm just picking. <laughs> no, I, I use them as aids. I call them aids, and that's where I do my circles. Okay, good. Now go back out to the rail. I don't care which direction. Go back out to the rail. And if, like, he's really slow in there, cluck to him a little bit. <clears throat> and as soon as you did that, see how he picked up? Yep. And, and again, we don't want him to go any faster than a walk, but I don't like to, like, just plop, plop along. I like for him to move there at the walk. Okay, so now go into that box, and you're going to go around to the right. You went to the left the first time. Now we're going to go to the right. That's the left. Isn't that the way you just did? Yeah. Yeah, just turn and go the other way. Yeah, you need to go the other way. Hold on, let get the gas power. Or no, you were you did go to the right. That's what I thought. Yeah, you're go go that way. Head straight. Get him walking again. Don't even worry about turning him. In fact, go the whole way out around, and when you get over there on that edge, go over and then come into the mounting block and turn. Yeah, now start turning and going over there and This is the way I was going. I thought. Pull him right, but you're leaning. Sit up straight. Oops. There you go. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. Okay, then turn him and go the other way. I, I, I didn't remember which way. Know. Just turn him and go the other way then. We'll go this way for a little bit. Go the other way. Keep going this way? Go the other way. Now go the other way. Turn and go the other way. Then we'll know for sure. You're leaning now. There you go. <laughs> That's going to be the hardest thing for you, man. Okay, now left rein, left leg here, that's it, bend him around. And you're looking down at the ground. Yep. yep. Out ahead, just in that circle you're going around. These are the little things that make a big difference in the end, so <clears throat> you're doing really good though, Matt. And later on, you're not going to be so stiff and it's going to come natural yeah right. and you're thinking listening to me you know it's 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 hard you're doing good okay and just out to the rail and now that you've been riding just a little bit here your heels about level so put there you go yep that and walk turn his head straight yeah, and then walk, cluck to him. And if he don't go, that's when you use your legs, but normally if you just cluck or kiss, he'll go. 
Okay, so you're doing real good, Matt. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let him go just a little faster and I wanna feel, I want you to feel his gait. He actually was backing up because he was pulling yeah, back. Yeah, I was put too much pressure back. So we're just gonna stay clear out on the rail. Go ahead. And you're gonna be fine at this. And all we're gonna do, I'll tell you when, just walk. And now you're just gonna cluck to him a little bit. Right, a little bit faster. There you go. Now we got him into what we call his gait or his corto. So now just concentrate and keeping him going that speed. If he slows down, cluck to him. If he goes too fast, you pull back. There you go, right there. Perfect, you see how you pull back just a little bit? There's the speed I want you at. Nice. Okay, and then walk, just pull back on the reins. And it's just like the seat feed hands, Except we just don't stop. It's seat, feet, hands. You think about that, right. but you just don't stop. So go back out to the rail this direction and go ahead and corto. Just cluck to him a little bit. There. Now, if you've never ridden a Pasifina, you've probably never ridden a Pasifina. No, I definitely never did either. Nope. Go ahead and corto. Cluck to him a little bit. I'll tell you when you're in there. That's the speed right there. Look at the top of Matt's head. There's mm -hmm. no up and down mm -hmm. movement. And he's... Mm. It's, it's not the rider, it's the gait that these horses have, the natural gait. And then walk. Having, having a paso. <laughs> and then stop, seat, feet, hands. Hold, Hold until it. he stops. Hold those reins. Matt, pull back. Yep, pull back and hold him. There you go. And then walk. And just walk. Just make him walk. He's wanting to go, and let's just I say walk. I keep clicking. I keep clicking. He keeps going faster. Yeah, if you do that, <laughs> he'll just keep going. Okay, so for the next three or four minutes, I'm going to shut up. I want you to walk, turn, stop, and I want you just to think about what you're doing. Don't think about me telling you, okay? So... Go ahead, just I'm gonna shut up here a little bit unless I see you doing something. I said I'm shutting up, but I'm gonna do the good thing there. You didn't lean that time. That was good. I'm trying to not step on the block. Okay. Pulling too much on the range. And, and just cluck to him, make him go. It's easier if he's moving and you're turning yes. than if he's going too slow. Yes. If he's going too slow, he just he'll just want to stop and not want to go. Heel. There you go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Head straight. <laughs> what's, what's that? I don't know. Yeah, we don't want to do it. It's either forward or back, don't. Okay. I don't, I want him to, I don't know, I want him to go, but. <laughs> you. Okay. So cluck to him and pull his head to the right there a little bit and put him right over in the rail. Cluck to him. You're doing good. We're going to go a little bit more here and then that'll be good for the first time. I don't want you to, you, you start thinking too much. You know what I mean? You, you just got to try not to think quite as hard. Okay, stop him again. Pull back, seat, feet, hands. Good job. And then walk. See, when I tell you, you're doing it and... Uh, and the okay. more you do it, the more you'll start automatically that you'll think of that. 
when he stops like that, Matt, and he puts his neck to the right like that, instead yeah. of shaking the reins on him, just pull that left hand out and he'll pull his head around. Okay. And yeah, he'll whichever walk the you. opposite. If he's turned his head to the right, pull it to the left. Pull it to the left. Left. There you go. That's better now. forward and tell him to walk. And now let's make him go a little faster. Cluck to him. Out on that rail. Pull to the right. Rail. Yeah. Pull to the right. There you go. And just a little bit faster, Matt. Cluck to him a little bit. There you go, Matt. Now we got him into that quarto. Right there. That's a good speed. And then just walk. See, feed hand. Just bring him down till he walks. Keep walking. And now let's reverse and go the other direction. And right into that corto, just like that. You're doing a good job of keeping your body straight. For and you're not part. leaning and your heels are staying down now. Real. Yeah, you're turning him. I mean, I see you pulling him there. That's, that, that's good. You can turn him around there. Yeah. And then walk again. And stop him. I think that's good for the first time. Good job, Matthew. Yeah. yeah. Bring, bring him in here to the middle. Turn him, turn him in here to me, and then we'll, we'll, we're gonna use this mounting block again. Just kind of get close to it, and I'll put it where you need it. Try to do this. That's good right there. Okay, so we're gonna put everything in reverse. Left hand on the reins, right hand on the saddle. Swing your leg over, and I want you just to pause there again and get your balance. This is the hard, harder part. Yes. Balance, and now step down. That knows where the hell that block's at. You want to ride him? Yeah, she's going to 